Praise the Lord. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, daddies, mommies, uncles, aunties, and my wonderful friends. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing good. Great. Um, I'm so glad, so grateful to God for giving me another privilege to come before you all and to share His word with you. I pray may the Lord bless you as you listen to His word in the name of Jesus Christ. First and foremost, I'm glad to wish you all Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. It's so blessed, it's so great, so obtain the privilege, so obtain the blessing of God, the, the sustaining grace of God to keep us alive. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Today we're going to be talking about your fear towards God. Your fear towards God. That as you continue this new year, the Lord has given you privilege to experience, to, to see, you need to have some kind of fear, a, a respectful fear towards God, our Creator. Our maker. And may the Lord bless you as you listen to his word in Jesus' name. Let's pray. I pray that as we study the word of God, may the Lord grant unto us this divine visitation and the wisdom even to understand this purpose, his perfect rule and expectation from us all in the name of Jesus Christ. And may his word be a light upon our soul for understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, our Bible reading is going to be taken from the book of Psalm 103, Psalm 103, from verse 1 downwards, saying, You, you please, please, you should go along with me, Psalm 103, from verse 1 downwards. Before we go into the Bible reading, we need to remember and realize that this fear towards God is a form of respectful fear. For instance, a child, when a child fears his parents, respects his parents, when a child is doing something bad and the child sees his or father or mother coming, the child is going to take caution and turn away from such a bad attitude and begin to do the right thing. So likewise, this respect for fear, that is a form of respect for fear of which God expects from us as his creatures. And may God bless you. In Jesus name. Psalm 103 from verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not his benefits. Verse 3, Who forgiveth all their iniquities, who healeth all their diseases, who redeemeth their life from destruction. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. First, you need to realize we're going to be considering three points. The first point is appreciation towards God for all He has done for you. The second point is the reward of the reward of God to those that fear Him, and finally, giving unto God the praise that it deserves. Praise the Lord. So, as we as we have read from this verse, from verse one to four, we realize that. That the this psalmist David could realize he could think of this great and mighty things the Lord has done for him, the salvation of his soul, forgiving him of his iniquities, this keep, keeping him, guiding him from being destroyed from destruction. And brothers and sisters, as you and I as well. We need to think deep into ourselves and consider the great and mighty things, the marvelous things, the miraculous things the Lord has done for us. And we could also join the psalmist to say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Think within yourself. Even for being alive to this day, it's what you to give that praise to the Lord. The Lord has created every, every one of us, everything, for, for, to, to, to give praise to His holy name. And may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. To bless God is to praise God. To bless Him is to serve Him. To, to, to bless God is to serve Him. To bless God is to worship Him. To bless God is to appreciate His goodness in your life. To bless God is to acknowledge of the greatness and of His great and mess, merciful things that He has done in your life. Bless God, O my soul, and all that is within me. May the Lord make you such in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, in the aspect of your fear towards God, looking at Joseph, Joseph, his, his master's wife told him, come and lie with me, and Joseph refused. Joseph said, why will I do this and offend my 
master and even sin against God. Nobody will deal with them, but Joseph had the fear of God. So the, the, the fear of God even makes you to abide in His divine righteousness. It makes you that you, you don't want to offend your father. You don't want to offend God. You don't want to commit sin. You don't want to displease God. It gives you that caution of where you are, what you're doing, and what you want to do. The decisions you want to make, the fear of God guides you to do God's will, to abide in God's righteousness, to seek God's will. And likewise, Job. And God also expected this fear from you, this respectful fear from you, because God was honored, He was proud about Job. In the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 8, God said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, a perfect man that eschewed evil, a man that feared God? God was so proud of him. I pray that the Lord will make you and I men and women that fear Him in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God is honored when you fear Him. Like he did, he was honored, he was glorified through the life of Job. And God has created each and every one of us for his name to be praised, for him to be honored, for his name to be exalted. Joshua chapter 4 verse 23 to 24 may give us an understanding about that. He says, Joshua chapter 4 verse 23, he says, For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you were passed over, and as the Lord did to the Red Sea, which he dried up before us until we were gone over, verse 24, that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, that that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. The Lord did those great mighty things before the children of Israel, the parting of the Red Sea for them to pass through, that they might have fear of Him, that they might know that God is able to do all things. What has the Lord done for you as well? You need to also think deeply in yourself and realize the miraculous things sustaining your life. While many has passed away, it is not by your strength nor your, by your might. It's, it's what you are appreciating the most, my God. And knowing that God is really great to be praised and having that fear for Him because He can do all things. If you have respectful fear, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Point number two, um, the reward of those that fear Him. When you have fear towards God, it brings you God's mercy. It's up to you to obtain more mercy, more grace, more protection, more favor, more blessing from the Most High God. Because God is happy with you when you fear Him, when you have that respectful fear, like Job, like Joseph. God has created each and every one of us to fear, to, to, to praise Him. And you need, you as an individual, you need to make that decision that as you continue to live through these years, you need, you want to have the fear of God. You want to have that respectful fear of God. You want to reverence God because God deserves your praise. And to bless God, to bless Him with your soul, with everything He has given unto you. To serve Him, to praise Him, to worship Him, to acknowledge His great and marvelous things in you that He has done in your life. And praise His holy name. May the Lord be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. That Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 103, verse 11 says, It says, Oh, that, oh, verse 11, Psalm 103, for, for as the heaven is high above the head, so great is His mercy toward them that fear Him. As far as he is from the west, so hath he removed our transgression from us. Like the father pierced seeth his children, so the Lord pitied those that fear him. The reward of those that fear God. It, it makes you obtain God's blessing and mercy. He says, as the heaven is far above the head, so God showed his mercy to them that fear him. Having this fear towards God, it makes God to protect you. To, to guide you, to keep you, because you are an instrument for His glory. It, wants, it will keep you from destruction, from harm. I pray may the Lord put His fear in you, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And likewise, in the in that in the conversation in the book of Job chapter one, that God was that God had with Satan. Satan responded after God was proud to talk about Job. Satan said, hey, "Are you not the one that made a shield around him to protect him?" That is another benefit that God gives to you when you fear Him. God is going to protect you from evil, from danger, from destruction. Because you are His representative here on earth. And that is who God has created us to be. To represent Him. That is who you might be done to us here on earth. As Jesus taught us, our Father who art in heaven, and Lord be the name, that we be done on earth as citizens in heaven. It is through you whom God has created, whom God has kept alive, that God wants to fulfill, review His will through. I pray that you will be available for God to use. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your fear for God makes it makes you to reverence Him, submitting yourself to His perfect will. It makes you to it encourages you to continue to abide in His righteousness and holiness, or a holiness of life of which God has spared from you. The Bible says, Be ye holy as I am holy. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. It's the fear of God, this respect for God, helps you encourage to abide in the will of God, to abide, to want to continue to please God, that you don't want to sin against God. Like Joseph, Job, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they could, they could, they could refuse of serving and worshiping other gods. And despite they were thrown into the fire, the God that created the fire disconnects. At that moment, God, God took away the function, the, the function he has prog programmed for fire, to burn people, to burn things. God removed that function because he, he, he saw people that feared him, that represent him, that want to review his glory here on earth. And God removed that function out of the fire. And fire, and that burning fire is it it it, 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 it cannot work as as expected anymore, and they could walk in the fire without them born. Praise be to God, is a mighty God. These things God did for you to fear Him. Joshua chapter four verse twenty four. God did these great and mighty things that you might fear Him forever. You might have this respectful fear towards God that you are caution of what you want to do. You are caution of the decisions you make because you fear God. You don't want to commit sin. You don't want to offend God. You don't want to do something that would displease God. I may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, giving unto the unto God the praises it deserves. Giving unto God the praises it deserves. Verse 19 says, The Lord has prepared, Psalm 103, verse 19, The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandment, yet cling unto the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, O ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, do, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all the works of his hands. All Bless the Lord, all the works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. We need to live to praise the Lord, to bless the name of the Lord. God deserves to be honored through your life. That is whom he has created you to be. I pray may the Lord be honored through your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord make you a man and woman that fear him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we need to live to give praises to the Most High God because God expects, is honored when we fear Him, when we have that respect we fear towards Him. May the Lord help us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you, as you continue this year, please have fear towards God and it shall be well with your soul in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord shall be honored to your life. You shall be the light to the world, as Jesus said, and the salt of the earth, to the glory and praise of the Most High God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For your time, and likewise for your attention, thank you all. Have a blessed day, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your fear towards God 
God is honored in it and it brings blessings to you because God shows mercy unto those that fear Him. It brings blessing, mercy, grace, protection unto you because you have a fear for God. May God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Read more, read that Psalm 103 from the beginning to the end and understand more of His divine mercy upon your soul. And the Lord keep you all in Jesus' name. Happy New Year once again. Have the fear of God and it shall be well to your soul. Amen.